Hi everyone, welcome back to How Inez Rolls. I have a lot of peanuts today and I'm gonna show you what I'm using them for, but it is a cookie recipe. I hopefully won't be using all of these, but it is going to have chocolate and peanuts. So let's get started. Just making peanut butter chocolate cookies and they are delicious so my son is going to be leaving on a two-year mission for our church and um, where he's going to he's going to Virginia and back east they are um, really into peanuts from when I did some of that research I was going to make a peanut pie but thought that would be a little harder because of the planning and trying to have enough dessert for everybody. So I thought I would just have out bowls of peanuts and these yummy looking peanut butter chocolate cookies. So first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that my butter is at room temperature and then get going. Look, I got the big machine out, so heavy. Oh, because I'm gonna double this recipe and I need the big ones, the big machine. <laughs> so I'm getting the butter out now. So I have the butter in here and I am just going to get peanut butter. So I'm near the end of this one over here. So I spray my um, measuring cup so I can get the peanut butter pretty quickly out of the container and mix and I'll mix those two together and cream them. Now, um, this recipe doesn't have any eggs in it. Cause I was looking at it and I was like, where's the eggs? How many eggs do I need? Yeah, no, no eggs. So this is, the peanut butter is going to be part of that binding agent, I'm assuming. So let's get this going and I'll bring you closer. So I'm gonna add some sugar and uh, my son just came up and asked, Ezra's like, are you making Muddy Buddies? Because Muddy Buddies are really good. So. And it does smell a lot like this. So I'm gonna get this going, and then I'm gonna be able to add in some, um, some flour, some vanilla, and some corn starch and salt. And that will complete the mix. So it's mostly just already blended together. I'm just going to kind of form it together into a ball, put some saran wrap on it, put it in the refrigerator for an hour. So let me tell you how everything is going with our party. Um, I'm trying to be distracted and getting myself really into um, kind of like the prepping work, so to say, of all of this. So I'm getting involved with a lot of the planning and stuff because I'm getting quite emotional as expected. Um, how many of my friends out there have uh, sent somebody to college or a child into the military or maybe even missionary work as well. It's good and it's sad, but it's good. So I am, as I'm prepping things and getting them ready, like I made a quote for my quote board, started crying. As I am putting, I'm looking at Pinterest this morning before I started work. Um, some more ideas that I could do started tearing up <laughs> so I it's almost like graduation all over again which my my son's senior year was I was a, an emotional wreck so I every time was like the last thing uh, his last time doing something I got really teary-eyed and we have another son graduating next year so my emotions are going to be on hyper awareness so to say for these next couple of years <gasps> so cookie recipes it is getting this in the fridge for an hour and then i get to bake so it's been an hour and in the meantime i had prep dinner making tater top casserole i will try to link that video to make that yummy dinner Ooh, and easy too and then i thought i would just check on my instagram accounts so let me want to know a couple of my uh, favorite, favorite accounts. So I have a few. I have uh, Brooke over at Nesting with Grace. And let me know in the comments if you follow these girls. She's like decor queen, but little. Like she's got a smaller space, which I love that, that, um, 
mentality thinking and they're just so crafty and, and do DIY stuff. Plus the girls um, over at Classy Clutter. So that's uh, Savannah and Mallory and Mallory just got like this brand new big house, but not brand new, like way old. So the whole thing is a big DIY project, which is like her dream. So I'm loving that right now. And I'm loving, I love fetch the fetching farmhouse girl just because she's hilarious and she does have the farmhouse look. So let me know in the comments if you're following any of those girls. Okay, so I opted to just take the dough out of that container, the bowl part, because it was so bulky. So I am just going to now roll these out into little balls, just like little one inch ones. I'm just gonna use my spoon, kind of roll them out, put them on here, super easy, baking them for about 11 to 13 minutes, and I'll bring you closer. <music> are baking i thought i'd get a head start on the icing so what i'm gonna need is a cup of chocolate chips now i made some alterations to the original recipe because you're supposed to like melt it over boiling water and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so i like just melting chocolate chips and peanut butter in the microwave so I'm not going to add the milk because I don't want it to scald. So I'm gonna do that after. But pretty much it's just a little bit of chocolate chips and a little bit of peanut butter. So I might even eyeball that because it's a tablespoon. So I just need a couple of tablespoons. Well, I'm doubling the recipe, remember? So one, two, three, four. Yes, this is it. And this weather oh my gosh we're having like crazy spring weather which i love but this lighting is like ooh. okay so i'm gonna get this in the microwave 30 second intervals and then i'll show you what i'm doing so i have my frosting here now remember i said i was going to put the the milk in later but i probably should have put it in with it because it's supposed to be thinner than this but i'm just going to spread it like frosting so i do know that it will harden up a little bit and that's what I'm going to freeze for um, the party on Sunday. So it smells so good. And I didn't tell you that that dough, it was so soft to touch, like to, um, to roll into balls. And I tasted it, it was so good. It doesn't even have eggs in it. So you could taste that one for sure. So I'm gonna get this ready. The first batches are gonna be coming out pretty quick here. You need to let them come out to a complete cool and then frost. So. I'm excited. So my frosting was a little thicker than I probably wanted it to be. So if I would have followed the direction, maybe <laughs> it would have been a lot thinner, but that's okay because I was able to kind of pat it down or roll it out. So good, put a little bit of peanuts. Gotta try it now. So here we go. Mmm, so good. Mmm. It's almost sugar cookie-ish, but peanut butter. And, oh, so good. I think I'm gonna let all the boys try a little bit of this one because I wanna freeze the other ones for the party. So, boys, come have this one. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by my channel today to see me make these uh, chocolate peanut butter or peanut butter chocolate cookies for our missionary farewell. I. I'm so glad and so grateful for all of you stopping by and giving me kind words, nice messages. I appreciate your thoughts about Isaiah leaving on his mission. So supportive. I'm so grateful to all of you. Um, there will be some other videos coming up about um, some of the things that we've been making and the actual party itself. Fingers crossed I can, can remember <laughs> to record. That's my problem here. <laughs> So I'm so glad that you're here. So give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you, next batch is ready, have you along for the ride. And stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Have a great evening.